Hey everyone, Alex here. Today we're gonna go over how to hack a degree. It's just the first uh, degree hacking video I've done in a while where I go over a spreadsheet. Uh, I've made a lot of videos of these in the past. I've covered a lot of different degrees and today we're gonna cover UMGC Cyber Operations. Although you can kind of use this for any of the UMGC degrees, uh, especially any of the UMGC cyber degrees because they have three different cybersecurity degrees actually so they have cyber operations which i think is by far the best curriculum uh, by far the most technical they have a degree that is like cybersecurity management and then they have a degree that is cybersecurity technology so i would highly recommend doing the cyber operations one it's got the best curriculum and it just by far sounds the coolest you know cyber operations right I almost think that sounds better than cybersecurity. Bachelor of Science in Cyber Operations. Sounds pretty, pretty legit, pretty amazing. So we're gonna cover the spreadsheet I have for you today. You can hack this degree in two years, uh, maybe a, a little under two years, and basically have a full-fledged bachelor degree in a couple years compared to a standard four-year curriculum. So I'll go over the courses you can transfer in and how to do it. And then I will go over to the UMGC uh, curriculum page on their website, and I will show you the courses you have to take there. So let's get into it right now. Let's dive first into the spreadsheet, and then we'll go over the UMGC classes on their website. Guys, I am in the spreadsheet that I made, and you can download this spreadsheet on my website, majormash.com. I will leave a link to this spreadsheet in the description and in the pinned comment. So you can download this spreadsheet over on my website. Now, this uh, the, how you're gonna hack this is with ACE credits, which I've gone over in a lot of my videos. ACE credits are courses you can do in a few days each. You know, imagine getting like 60 college credits in just like a few months. That is possible through ACE credits, okay? Um, these credits are not exactly college credits, but they can be accepted as college credits by partner universities such as UMGC. So we're gonna get into this. I know a lot of you attending UMGC are military. If you wanna graduate your degree faster, you can absolutely accomplish this. Um, so general education, you could do most of them on ACE credit platforms, such as study.com. And if you need 30% off your first three months at study.com, there's a link up here. This will save you, I believe, almost a few hundred bucks. So you got programming and career exploration and technology and introduction to research, which you would have to do at UMGC. So now English one, you can transfer in, you can do this on any of the ACE credit providers, including study.com. So that'll cover academic writing one. However, academic writing two, they don't allow you to transfer in. You'll have to do that at the school. Composition and literature, you do this at study, you transfer it in. It's the only ACE credit platform you can do it on. Math 107 will transfer in as topics for mathematical literacy, pretty easy math class. And then U.S. History 1 and 2 would satisfy the arts and humanities requirement. Psychology 101 over at study, or you can take this on any ACE credit provider. Uh, intro to psychology would satisfy behavioral and social science if you combine it with introduction to sociology. So you combine these two courses, it'll satisfy this general education section, which is behavioral and social sciences, and that is a six credit requirement. So, and you can also, you don't have to take these two classes. You can take any psychology course or any sociology course, or you can take cultural anthropology uh, for these. It's just, the intro is what most people are gonna take. Now for the science section, you got intro to biology with lab. You can do intro to chemistry with lab if you choose, but that would be much harder in my opinion. So I would just stick to intro to biology with lab. And then biology to uh, basic genetics, which has no lab, would satisfy your physical science section. So you need one uh, physical science with a lab and one physical science with or without a lab. And then you got the Data Literacy Foundations, which you cannot transfer in. You'll have to take that course at UMGC. Now, the cool thing about this is you can pick a minor. You can pick whatever minor you want for this, but I would highly recommend doing a computer science minor. Having a bachelor degree in cyber operations slash cybersecurity with a computer science minor is pretty amazing. You know, 
Like I, I think a lot of hiring managers still look for computer science majors, even in the cybersecurity world. And having a computer science minor is pretty awesome. So the fact that they let you do this is one leg up that they have over WGU is that they can give you a minor in computer science, which is pretty awesome. Now, WGU does come with all the certs still. While I don't believe this degree does, so that's still, I think, a huge advantage for WGU. So, but other than that, the fact that you can minor here is pretty amazing. So you would do three courses over at study.com, and you can only do these three courses at study. You can't do them anywhere else. So network forensics, we'll transfer into network forensics here. And then computer science 302 and 303 would transfer in. It would, it would meet the minor requirement because basically over on study, you have to do three upper classes. So it has to be like an upper course class. It can't be a lower level. So these three are all a uh, higher level. And basically they would cover nine credits and then you have to do two at the school to cover the minor. You have to do introductory programming one and introductory programming two. Now I just added these one and two here. They're actually both called introductory programming. One is introductory programming and it's called like 115. And then the other one is called introductory programming 215. I just kind of simplified it here as one and two to make it a little easier to read. So you'll take both of those courses at UMGC and you'll take these three courses at study and transfer those in. And then the major electives here, you would take 31 credits uh, and you could choose whatever credits you want. I would make sure they're like tech uh, tech credits. So go to study.com, go through all the computer science courses that you can do. And also like the business tech courses, like uh, computer information systems, uh, management information systems, um, like any kind of business tech hybrid course will probably count towards this elective in all likelihood. So you could, like go to the business section and some of those classes will call, qualify as well. Uh, so you, you can go over with UMGC's evaluators, which courses will transfer in, but most of the tech courses and most of the business slash tech courses will transfer in to meet the electives here. So you can do 31 credits here for ACE credits and you can, you can transfer in about 67 credits of ACE credits into this degree, which is over half the degree. So over half your degree in ACE credits and then do basically like 53, 54 credits at the school, which you can do in about probably 18 to 21 months. So under two years, you can get this degree done. If you really hustle, you can probably get this done in 18 months. So just pretty big cheat code here to transfer all these in. Uh, so we're gonna, now that we've covered this, we've covered the spreadsheet that you can download on the website. We're going to go on the UMGC webpage and go over the course curriculum for this degree, which I'm actually a really big fan of. So let's, ho let's head over to that right now. We're on the UMGC Cyber Operations Bachelor Degree page. As you can see, this is, uh, it'd be 499 out of state, 250 for military, and then 324 if you live in the state per credit. So we're gonna go down here. This is a very unique degree. I think it's the best cybersecurity curriculum online that you can possibly find. Uh, like for an online cybersecurity degree, this is probably the best curriculum that I've seen. So now, yes, WGU does still come with the certs. So, you know, if you're asking me my, my general opinion, I would still probably do the uh, WGU cybersecurity degree over this one because you just get all the certs, you know, A plus and, you know, network plus and all those certs basically. So I would still probably recommend that one, but this is a fantastic degree. Take you a little longer and you probably have to do the certs by yourself, but overall you get a foundations of cyberspace operations, which is pretty amazing. And what I've always been interested in is reverse engineering and malware analysis. Like if I was going to try to work any job in cybersecurity, this is like what kind of fascinates me. Uh, they have an amazing G GIAC cert regarding reverse engineering as well. So I wonder if this course is based off that. Let's see here. A lab intensive study of reverse engineering and malware analysis techniques. 
The objective is to recognize, dissect, and remediate uh, infections caused by malicious code and malware using modern tools and methodologies. Topics include malware analysis, reverse engineering, common malware patterns, assembly language, debuggers, application, package techniques. Okay, so you do not get the GIAC cert, but it sounds like an amazing class. This is usually a this is usually like a special non-college class or it's like a graduate level class. So like the fact that this is in a bachelor degree is amazing, right? You usually don't see this in a bachelor degree. I think the one at SNHU might have this as well. And WGU should really add this to their cybersecurity bachelors. Now, fundamentals of networking, very important in the cybersecurity degree. Um, building secure Python applications. Detecting software vulnerabilities, very important. Like all the classes are relevant, which is why I really like this uh, cyber degree. Every single class is just so relevant. Database security, secure software engineering, secure programming in the cloud. Like every single class is just so relevant. Mitigating software vulnerabilities, software security testing, and cyber operations capstone. So I, I really feel like whoever put this curriculum together, like actually worked in cybersecurity or UMGC did a really good job and like consulted with like somebody in cybersecurity to really put this degree together. So it's a really great degree, really fantastic curriculum. Like if you want to do a cybersecurity degree where you don't care about like graduating super fast or you don't care about, uh, you, you really don't care about getting all the certs as well. Like you'll get the certs some other time like on your free time after you're done with the degree, then I really love this curriculum more than anything. Like this is like, if you want to learn cybersecurity, you want to learn uh, the subject. And th th these are the classes you want to learn right here. This is absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, like we'll, we'll click a couple of these. Let's click, uh, mm, click database security. A study of processes and techniques for securing databases. The objective is to design, build, and maintain databases to minimize risk and security attacks. Topics include privileges and rules, user accounts, encryption, authent authentication uh, methods, and auditing. Students may receive credit for only one of the following courses. So pretty, pretty good course. Um, we'll click one more. Let's do detecting software vulnerabilities. In an in-depth practical application of techniques and tools for detecting and documenting software vulnerabilities and risks, the goal is to research, select, and use software to analyze code and isolate and prioritize application code and process that could lead to failure or compromise data integrity or privacy. Topics include the top 25 software vulnerabilities, secure coding guidelines, static code analysis, and software assurance metrics. Students may receive credit for one of the following courses. So once again, another great class here. So I'm a big fan of this degree. Now, while this is not technically a cybersecurity degree, you can minor in cybersecurity. I think that would be pointless, okay? If you're gonna minor here, I would do computer science because employers are gonna know this is a cybersecurity degree. Like, you don't have to get a cyber operations bachelor's and a minor in cybersecurity. That's just, that makes no sense in my opinion. Uh, but we're gonna go over to the other cybersecurity degrees that they have. They have cybersecurity technology and they have cybersecurity management and policy. So the cybersecurity management and policy is gonna be the most, the one that's the most like WGU. So we'll, uh, let's see the courses they got here. Ethics class, leadership class, network security, which is important. Uh, business industry, government organization. Yeah, this is way too like business oriented here. Uh, about evaluating emerging technologies. Like this would be fine as a master's, like a cybersecurity management master's or something, but it's just not the type of bachelor's you want, right? Like WGU's bachelor's in cybersecurity and information assurance is still way more technical than this. So I would just not recommend this degree. Now let's go to uh, the cybersecurity technology one. 
and we'll view the cyber tech program courses. So this one is definitely a little better here. Uh, you got fundamentals of computer troubleshooting, fundamentals of networking, introduction to Linux, network security, ethical hacking, cloud technologies, uh, cybersecurity capstones. So be a pretty good one here if you want to do like network engineering to start off and then maybe get into cybersecurity later. This is still a pretty solid degree here. I think the cyber operations is by far the most technical one and the best one. But this one is not bad. This is a... This is a pretty good degree. Uh, I, ju I just would not do the cybersecurity management one. Like it's very management oriented and <laughs> nobody's going to hire you uh, like as a manager in cybersecurity without experience in cybersecurity, without like, like tons of years of experience in cybersecurity. So I wouldn't do that one, but these other two cybersecurity degrees are fine. So the fact that they have three, <laughs> the fact that they have three cybersecurity degrees really tells me that they must have a, like a ton of military students at the school because cybersecurity is like the most popular military major, especially among men. So it's uh, the fact that they have three just really tells me they are catering to the military big time. And I know a lot of you watching this are military. So thank you for your service. I really, really do appreciate you. So Homeland Security is another one that a lot of military would uh, major in. So, And they have their other degrees here that I've covered their computer science uh, degree in another video if you want to watch that. Management information systems is a fantastic degree. Uh, you know, and you, you could do any of these, whatever you want to do, whatever interests you. Finance is a good degree. Um, data science is a good degree. You know, let's see here. Yeah, that's that's uh those would be the ones that I recommend personally. But a lot of good stuff here. Accounting's always a pretty decent degree as well. So UMGC is a great school. Let me go back to a full window here for today's video. If if you found this video helpful at all, please like, subscribe, comment. Those things will send the video out to new people. So anybody that's trying to Think about attending UMGC. We'll find the video if you like, comment, or subscribe, which really does help out my channel and really does help out my content. So if I helped you in any way, please, one of those three things would be amazing or all three. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend. Hope you guys enjoy some football if you're into football. I'm a big football fan, so I'm going to, you know, I'm actually recording this in the middle of the Chief Texan game because uh, I ran a little late on things, so it's halftime right now. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Christmas coming up. Uh, happy holidays. It's, it's my favorite time of the year. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys spend some time with family. And remember, you can download the spreadsheet on my website, majormatch.com, and you can also get 30% off study.com. So take care.